from my people. I'm going internationals this week. Um, the extra, like last week, is actually a Greek spirit. Today it's a um, it's a grappa. It's Babatsum Spuro from Thessaniki. Thessaniki is up near the kind of like trident thingy that hangs off the eastern coast of Greece. You know, the bit that bit before Turkey. Um, in case you're geographically challenged, like I can occasionally be. Hang on, some days I'm just just challenged. Forget about the geography. Um, so this is a grappa. Now grappa is, for those of you who don't know, often made by Italians and Greeks in Melbourne, and I have drunk some bourbon rock grappa in my time. This is actually produced professionally. See, it's got labels, barcodes, it's got a whole lot of Greek on the on it. So I had to go to my friend Stephen Kaikouras from Gerard Imports and say, Steve, dude, I know that's my personal failing. I can speak a couple of languages and one of them isn't Greek. You're going to have to translate the label for me. And Steve was kind enough. So that's the reason why I know it's Babetsim Sipuro Grappa and it's made in Thessaloniki. So enough of that, enough of my language and linguistic inadequacies. If you want, there's a full list of my inadequacies. So, um, I've got an ex. Can't see her. Look, um, the nose, yeah, it's the nose is very similar to pr if you've tried grappa, um, yeah, that's what the nose is. There's no sound happiness, it's a screw top. Um, it's reasonably warm where I am at the middle of the um, recording at the moment. It's actually, you might tell by the light they use, it's midday or thereabout, 11 o'clock. So I'm drink day drinking. <laughs> I know, I'm not an alcoholic, I just drink their booze in here. So, yeah, if you've tried grappa, yeah, there's going to be nothing terribly surprising in this. Um, for those who haven't tried grappa, um, really, which rock, which which rock have you been living under? And if you've been living in Melbourne, in case of really, biggest Greek and Italian populations outside their respective countries in the world, and you ain't tried grappa, some people just need limes. Um, it's fruity. The 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 smell of happiness is very fruity. Um, it should be noted that. Um, there is a tendency to dump a shit ton of anise in, in the form of fennel into grappa, um, which would make me a um, boy with a nasty headache. This one does not have it, which is the reason why I was very keen to check out with Stephen, um, because this dude does have fennel. Um, I don't mind the headaches, but migraines are, you know, about as appealing as my mother-in-law. I just won't go down that rabbit hole. So the nose is incredibly fruity. It's a good solid burn, um, which is almost certainly not due to juniper. Um, it is proof. I will check that as by the fact I have eye wateringly limited Greek. Um, fortunately, 40% volume doesn't need much translation. It's a manuscript. Um, I don't know the botanicals. Okay, I there's a burn in there. I know it's because it's Greek. It's not the mockery pepperberry. It's unlikely to be pepper itself because it doesn't have that piperin type burn. Um, if anyone wants to enlighten me as to exactly what the botanicals are on this baby, please do. I'm always open for correction. Um, look, I was knocking this back neeks. Um, I would think it would make a brilliant um, base for gym fizzes, uh, not gym fizzes, just like fizzes or you, <clears throat> if you want to adult up, um, you know, uh, lemonade or um, a nimble piney, this would more likely fit into the background a little bit. Um, just generally, because it's not a strongly flavoured grappa, it will blend into the background. So if you're, like I said, wanting to make up a punch or um, just punch up, um, I don't know, Fanta. Heaven forbid I should actually suggest a soft drink with this stuff. But that sort of thing, you get, you get in the picture. This is going to make a really good base to something much more complex, okay? So if you want a relatively unappealing spirit or relatively anonymous spirit, um, then 
So I'm about to send the Sipton off on Thessaloniki is going to be your um your booze. Um having said that, it goes really well just on ice cubes. Maybe it what goes really well with this stuff. A bigger bottle, that's what goes really really well with it. So yeah, this is my um second foray into Greek um spirits. There was a brief foray into Greek wine. Um Greeks make great red wine who would have thought they've only been doing it for about 4,000 years plenty of time to get it right so I don't know what the Greek for um, cheers is but whatever it is you're hearing it yep um, the contact details for Stephen and it will be in the write up so thank you for watching people my people hit that subscribe share follow button and believe it or not this stuff is vegan it's vegetarian vegetarians of the world Go and drink plenty of this stuff. I'll catch you. Bit of like, have fun, drink often, drink better. <laughs>